Friends, as a giver to St Mark's, it's important you know how we spend the money you entrust to us. You give as a church family member to both the running of St Mark's, but also to our work in the local community. These are the projected figures set in spring this year by PCC, and each budget holder is accountable for keeping to the budget. I'm going to keep this brief, so please stick with me. You'll see our tithe listed here. We always tithe 10% of our income that we receive to the church. The reason it says 8% here is because this is the figures of the expenditure of a budget that overspent its means. Um, it's a deficit budget. That's why it says 8%. We did and we continue give to give 10% of all our income to honour God, acknowledging that what is entrusted to us is actually his. It's not ours. We're just entrusted to it. It goes to the work of all our mission partners. Utilities were set at 14% of our expenditure this year. This includes the expected increase of £10,000 to our utilities bills, which is a, another huge hike in price as we didn't feel the full effect of the rising prices last year again. It means our estimate may be higher than the reality, but we'd rather budget wisely and anticipate an increase than be shocked and surprised later in the year. Salaries are an important part of our expenditure as we pay a number of staff in order to facilitate the mission of St Mark's. It's important we use that phrasing because the staff of St Mark's aren't employed to do the mission, but to enable mission and mostly to release you to do the mission God's calling you to do. Yes, of course, there is mission as a part of our staff team's roles, but they're here to facilitate the mission, particularly facilitating you in getting involved in all God's calling you to do here among us. There are various expenses required for the youth, children and clergy teams. However, these figures are only the expenses pots. Please don't think that's all we invest in children and youth um, and, and other things, because so much of that is covered in sundries and salaries. That's when the major investment comes. Those are just the expenses pots listed there. And we now upkeep and maintain four buildings after having sold Wagon Lane last year. Um, that means 21% of this um, years projected expenditure um, is on repairing and maintaining our buildings. There is an extra to that as well, which I'll mention in a minute. There are other costs in other places for the office, outreach, IT, systems, equipment and other things. Again, in that uh, Inverness Sundries slice of the pie. Due to ending last year, yet again in deficit, we made the difficult decision to reduce our parish share contribution. The parish share pays both for the cost of a minister, the training of curates, the housing of clergy, roles in the diocese such as archdeacons and bishops, as well as um, a larger church. Uh, we have been giving, uh, we've been a net giver since at least the 1990s. That means we've given more than we needed to give. Um, £67,000 is what they now calculate a minister costs. It's not just a minister, it's all those other things I've just mentioned as well. But that's what they reckon. For a minister in, in, in a parish, that's how much a church should be giving. Anything above that has always been given um, as a net giving towards poorer and smaller churches. It is with great sadness that last month the PCC have made the hard decision to reduce our giving um, to the parish share um, to that 67000 figure. Um, to pay for um, our, our, our part of, of the share, um, but not the extra that we've been asked to give as a larger church. It's the first time in our history that we have done that. Um, this year, only 26% of our expenditure will be given to the church commissioners. It's both part of our commitment and membership to the Church of England and pays um, for you to have a vicar. I should say, and I always say at this point, I don't receive even half of our expenditure directly into my pocket. However, it does provide for the vicarage and many of the local structures and legal structures which it takes to maintain um, clergy people. Uh, you can research this online or just ask me and I'm very happy to be completely transparent about how much all of that is. Now for the big headers. The cost of ministry last year was £259,489. That doesn't include the £81,000 investment that we made into our buildings when each of our 30-year boilers failed one after the other and we replaced heating systems both here and in the centre. PCC approved that spend after the sale of our house on Wagon Lane, which was um, our final capital um, asset to sell in order to do that uh, while retaining our curate's house. We did end the year with a deficit of £28,405, which has once again dented our reserves due to the cost of living crisis and both the pinch 
to our own pockets and the increase in all our goods. The cost of ministry this year is estimated to be £265,458. And if we assume there are 150 people who regularly give and worship with St Mark's across the month, that would make the personal cost of ministry at St Mark's £34 per adult per week. Basically, if every member of St Mark's could give £34 per week, we would break even by the end of 2024. There are actually more of us worshipping in this church community um, uh, than we sometimes think because we don't see everyone every week and we're across two congregations at the moment. Um, not everyone is in a, in a position to give that much. But my question is less, how close are you to giving £34 a week to St Mark's? Um, which is just to help you see just how much the cost of uh, ministry is in this church community. My question to you is, what are you giving? What are you giving? If everyone were giving and we asked Jesus what that sacrificial figure is, we will be able to see even more people reached for his love. This year, based on the income we currently know about, the projected deficit at the end of 2024 is £43,882. This does not include the £40,000 repair to the wall from the New Futures designate account. Did you know one of our walls was falling down and we had to fix that this year? And that's, that's in this year's figures. The whole thing's a sobering figure, a sobering picture. I want to assure you that PCC and Standing Committee are keeping a close eye on this. We do not spend frivolously. Uh, we have pared down and streamlined as much as we believe we can without ceasing, changing significant mission and ministry investment. But we are not despairing. We need your support to help us reduce the deficit. We believe God is leading us into growth, which is why we're not panicking. We seek to be wise stewards of God's finances here and completely faithful in our trust in him. What our prayer needs to be today is, Jesus, are you happy with my gift to my church family? If so, please give me a peace in my heart. If not, please give me the weekly figure I should be working towards. And I trust that you will provide for me as I change it. Friends, thank you so much for everything you give to this church in time, energy and finance.